man. We don't, we don't, you know, don't partake in any alcoholic beverages, so you're more relaxed. But that's true. Um, that's true. Some places might frown on that, unless it's like some places that serve. But you're still not supposed to drink. Yeah, and you're drive. still not okay. You're still drive. you're not supposed to drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is another episode of Go Kart Academy, brought to you guys by Eight Nine Three Motorsports. We want to give you guys the ten tips for indoor kart racing. Now, we don't do a whole lot of indoor kart racing, but we used to, and so we want to make sure that everyone that's out there is getting into kart racing, whether it's outdoor or indoor. You have all the tips ready for you. Now, indoor karting is a great way to get started with karting, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, no rain, and it's nice and air conditioned too. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's go through the top 10 tips that you need to know about getting into indoor kart racing. Tip number one, once you're in that kart, you're ready to go. I know you're super excited, but the first tip is when you're turning into to corners, don't lean into the turn. This is not a roller coaster. This is a car, this is a cart, this is an automobile type machine, which means that you don't want to unbalance the weight. When you lean into a turn, you're actually moving against what you naturally need to do when it comes to the cart. So stay planted in your seat in the middle and don't lean into the corners is your first tip for indoor cart racing. Tip number two, guys, get comfy. Get to know your cart. They're gonna say, hey, here's your cart. So get in it, feel it. Love it. Love adjust it. your seat. <laughs> adjust your seat, your seat belts. Make sure you're comfy because if it's uncomfortable, you're not going to have fun. Mm. You're going to feel out of place. So get comfy. And then number two, make sure that you have enough room to get all of the throttle. You want to be able to mash that gas pedal like you're going to mash the like button here. But so, so you just want to make sure you have all of the room to get to full throttle and the brake. Um, that's tip number two, guys. Make sure make sure you're well fitted. I uh, yeah. I mean, I, get comfy. You know, you know what? I've, like I've actually cars? I've actually driven in indoor cart carts where I was where I couldn't settle in into the car. I couldn't fit. Right. It's a terrible experience. You're moving all over the place. You can't get the get to the accelerator. You're yeah. Not... You don't want to take a turn hard because you feel like you're gonna get hit in the side. Exactly. Exactly. So. If you're indoor cart racing, make sure you get the right setup and you're in that cart comfy. Tip number three for indoor cart racing is very similar to outdoor cart racing. It's very simple. Hold the line. Hold the racing line. The racing line is the fastest way to get around the cart track. And so as you go through laps, find that racing line, find the fastest way to go through, and then you can start changing your style of driving to pass, to get through other people and to adjust your driving style based on conditions, whether it's traffic or anyone else out there. But when you're first starting out, tip number three, find the racing line, find that line and find the best way to comfortably go through the track quickly. Tip number four, keep moving. You might mess up. If you're a beginner, you're gonna mess up. Gonna don't, don't take it personally, just keep moving. It happens to everybody. I mean, just keep going, keep moving. And I think one of the things about keeping going is, is that sometimes when people spin out, they get out of their car. Yeah. Or, or they become a, a hazard on the track. I think this is one of the important things about keep moving is if you ever spin out, just keep going. Don't get out of the car, keep going because you create a bigger hazard and a risk to you, yourself and others around you if you get out of that car or if you're just standstill in the middle of the track. Yeah, unless your cart is broken down and you can't do anything when that warrants the hands up. <laughs> save me. Save me. But just keep going. Keep your head down. Keep going. You're going to have fun. Everybody might laugh, but uh, hopefully you're laughing at the guy who spun out. That's right. Be safe. For tip number five, the tip is very simple. One pedal at a time. With electric go-karts in indoor kart racing, you really can't be feathering too much of the brake, especially if you're a beginner. Now, as you get more advanced, you wanna be able to smash the accelerator and feather the brake as you go into turn in and as you get to track out. However, when it comes to it being, being a beginner, just focus on one pedal at a time. So just practice that. 
one pedal at a time. Tip number six, guys, we want to steal the lead. So to steal the lead, what you need to do is follow the guy who's fastest, right? If you're right behind him, mimic what he's doing. If you do the same thing that he's doing, you are going to stay with him. You're going to stay on his bumper. This applies to both indoor and outdoor racing. Um, yeah, stay on his bumper and then figure out where he's making mistakes. It might take four or five laps, depending on how long your session is, to figure out where he's going to make a mistake. When he makes that mistake, don't do what he did. Remember what he did in the begin before on the lap previous where he didn't make the mistake. That will open up your opportunity to pass and you'll be at, at the top of the leaderboard. So for tip number seven for indoor kart racing, if you're just a beginner, is to lighten up. Force equals mass times acceleration. I know we're going back to high school math here and for some of you guys it might be, well, what, what, what is he talking about? But remember, force equals mass times acceleration. So one of the tips and tricks that, that you can have when it comes to indoor kart racing, if you're a novice, is lighten the load. You don't need to be wearing all that gear. You don't need to be wearing all this heavy stuff and jackets. Lighten up. The lighter you are, the faster you go. Carbon fiber helmets. Yes, carbon fiber helmets. If you're willing to spend a grand plus, that could be a winning strategy right there. Right. Tip number eight, guys. We uh, be smooth, you know, consistency is key. The speed will come. So if you're smooth, you'll be able to turn better lap times, especially in an electric cart or indoor where it's a really smooth surface, mm -hmm. easily skid, not a lot of traction, different than outside on asphalt or concrete, right? Tires don't heal up as much because there's less friction. So be smooth. The less that you can get the back end of the cart to slide, the faster you will be. So everything I said, be smooth, hold the racing line. This all kind of goes together. Um, just be smooth. Smooth. <laughs> so tip number nine, guys, when it comes to driving a cart indoor, be relaxed. You don't need to be all tense, gripping the steering wheel with an iron grip. Actually, that unsettles the car, uh, the cart. And the reason is, is because when you turn abruptly, it changes the weight. And so you want to be relaxed. You want to have a light grip. You want to be uh, comfortable in your cart and you don't need to take it all that seriously and be all crazy about all this stuff, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. Just be, uh, be just chill, relaxed. Man. Just be chill. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> man. We don't, we don't, you know, don't partake in any alcohol and beverages. So you're more relaxed, but that's true. Um, that's true. Some places might frown on that. Unless it's like, some places that serve, wait, you're still not supposed to drink. Yeah, and drive. You're still not okay. Supposed you're to still, drive. you're not supposed to drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Tip number 10, guys, do like us. We're having fun. Have fun. You know, we're here for you guys, but just make sure you're out there having fun with your buddies, your family. Carding is amazing. It's, you know, it's a family sport. So just have fun. You know, win, lose, it's a race. We get it. But have fun. The more fun you have, the more relaxed you're going to be, the smoother you'll be, and you're not thinking about it like crazy. Just mm -hmm. having fun. And we, 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 always end, we always end these types of yeah. tips with being having fun. fun. And I think the reason is, is because we've been in, in this game for so long, is that we've met so many people that just don't have fun when they go to these places. They get way too serious about the times. And it, it kind of ruins the experience. I mean, I, I mean, I get it. There's a certain type of demographic, a certain type of people who are super serious about everything. But guys, this is indoor kart racing. Chill. <laughs> yeah, we're just here to have fun. Maybe play some arcade games after. Again, exactly. And drink a little bit of beer. Beer is after, after, after carding. <laughs> so thanks so much, guys, for hanging out with us for the top ten tips for novice go karters who are getting into indoor kart racing. Let us know your comments below in the forum at www.gocart.academy. Smash the like button, subscribe guys, and join us again. Join us again for more tips and tricks on our YouTube channel, guys. We'll see you guys out on the track. We'll see you out there or in there. Ooh.